Hello, hello from my PSOC 17 in Grenoble, France, the year of our 20th anniversary. I have the pleasure to be with a French lady, which is Imen Bailey from the company called Menta. It's a company involved in EFPGA, and of course you, you all know and you all see on our website that EFPGA is an extra hot topic. It looked like it was uh, an invention that was going around since many, many years, and for any reason, now the market is ready and the provider are ready. So Menta is a French company, so I'm more than happy to, to ask you what's new. And I saw that there was a paper in an interesting area in Europe, of course, automotive. Can you tell us more, please? Yeah. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, all. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Uh, I'm here also. Of course, to represent uh, Monta Company, yeah. But uh, I'm also here to discuss the role of the EFPGA and the place of the EFPGA into uh, the automotive market and systems. Um, if we look at the different issues today for the ADAS requirements, we talk about real-time processing system, we are talking about determinist feature, we are talking about um, low power, low cost, um, time to market, We are talking about large bandwidth and we are talking about uh, the need of hardware that we, where we can run um, intelligence artificial. Okay? And I am very interested to see and to exchange ideas here into this design and reuse event uh, about such issues uh, for the level 5 autonomous cars. cars. And um, I think uh, that the embedded FPGA are really a good solution to answer such issues for the level 5. Um, autonomous car and also for the current uh, level 3 uh, autonomous car systems. What we can say and what we see and it's maybe you will find it funny but I am always comparing the car systems and the autonomous cars to the body of a human. So we have neural networks and we know that recently also that uh, we have three brains, the heart brain, um, the heart brain, Uh, the head brain and the gut brain, right? And for me, I'm comparing this to the centralized uh, uh, automotive systems today. And we have also the distributed systems that are, uh, for example, the camera, the lidar, and the ultrasound system, etc. And here we will need to add some intelligence artificial. And what I think is that uh, by adding such complexity, uh, we need to think about embedded FPGA. It's really the good solution for, for this kind of system. This is what I think. Also, for the centralized systems, I think having an embedded FPGA inside such chips uh, could give reconfigurability. We can use them also for making co-processing of the processor and maybe run also all the timing, critical timing algorithm there instead of being uh, done by the software. Yeah, so avoiding interrupting the CPU for nothing. Uh, and uh, integrate the maximum of embedded FPGAs at the edge nodes and also in uh, the centralized systems. Last thing, last remark is that um, I'm really sure that embedded FPGAs are, are the case solution for that and Manta is really the only vendor today that is um, providing the opportunity of standard scan chain interface with um, test coverage uh, that is exceeding 99.8% uh, and we are the only one doing that and it is a very good and big requirement for automotive systems. Yeah. I think going after automotive, especially in Europe, uh, I hope it will be a very successful track. So we wish you good luck and we'll hear from you in the future. Thanks a lot. Thank you.